Hey guys, what is up today? We are talking about tempo training. What is it? What do these four numbers mean? And how you can start to use it with your clients and your athletes right now. Okay, hey, say thank you so much for watching. Um, before we get started, let's get some administrative stuff out of the way, please. If you like this video, if you think it's valuable, if you think it's entertaining, whatever the case may be, do me a huge favor. It's the only thing I'm going to ask for you. Okay, do me a huge favor and like, comment, subscribe, share this with somebody. Okay, the only way this page grows and the only way that this page continues to help another coach, another trainer, is if you share the show. So please, whatever you do, share the show, subscribe, comment, and most importantly for me, click on my newsletter. Subscribe to my newsletter because that's when you're going to get exclusive uh, information before that's even put out on any sort of social media. So please do that. That would be awesome. I would absolutely love that for you. Um, and I would love that for myself too. So please do that. Okay, let's get to the show. Okay, tempo training. What is tempo training? What do these four numbers mean? And why is it important to you? Okay, First and foremost, tempo training is literally what it is. It means the rate of speed, okay, in which you're going to execute the exercise or exercises, right? So you have four numbers that show up. The first one is the eccentric number. That means when you're lowering the weight down or lowering your body down, okay, that's the amount of seconds that we want you to go. So let's say, for example, it's three seconds on a bench press. If I'm doing a bench and I go one, two, three, okay, that would be a three second eccentric. That's the number eccentric is I'm lowering that weight down. Okay, three second eccentric is the first number. Eccentric is lowering the weight uh, down or your body down. The second number is what we call the isometric number, okay? That is how long are you gonna pause for? Okay, so again, let me use the bench press example because I think everybody can understand this one. The next number, isometric, how long are you pausing for? So I've done my three seconds down on my bench and now I'm in the isometric phase. I'm going to hold, okay, let's say it's two seconds. I'm going to hold one, two before I go back up, if that makes sense. So the isometric number, that's the second number, is how long I'm holding in that position for, okay? It could be this bottom position in a pull-up, it could be the top position, okay? Whatever one um, is the isometric, it is the pause where you are gonna pause for, and again, that's for the number of seconds as well. The third number is what we call the concentric number, okay? Now, a lot of people don't program this or they only program this as a one, which is what I do typically as well. Okay, the concentric is typically like how fast I can get the bar up, okay? Or if I'm doing a pull up, how fast I can pull myself up, right? Um, most people really don't utilize this number very often. Why? Because we want the bar or my body to move as fast as possible. So if I tell you go five seconds on the way up, <sighs> it's probably not super beneficial. Now I do know some people, some coaches that do program that number. Um, if you want, I think that's cool, but typically, typically most people don't, okay? They'll put an X or a one, right? And what an X really means is explosive. So do it as fast as you can, right? Um, or a one is do the rep, right? Again, as fast as you can. Most people, the majority, do not utilize the concentric portion or we don't put three, four, five, six on that. You can. Is it wrong? Nah. I'm going to potentially let you debate that in your own head. If we're talking specifically for sport performance, typically we're not going to use that number. Typically. Uh, we'll just probably put an X on it or a 1 because we want them to move that bar as fast as possible. Again, typically. Okay, the last number, <clears throat> number four that's on there. Um, again, this one is very similar to the concentric number. This is the time in between each rep, okay? The time in between each rep, okay? Um, so if I do a bench press, I go down and I go up and I wanna hold for five seconds and then do the next one, 
you can do that. Again, most people typically don't. Uh, that you'll see expressed as an X as well, or a lot of people will just not even utilize that number at all, and they'll just use three. Um, and the reason for that is typically we just want them, you know, to go into the next rep. So separate your rep, go into the next rep um, is what we typically want. So we're never really like crazy about putting another number on there. However, in some situations, let's say I'm doing clusters, I might put like 10 seconds on there, right? If I'm doing clusters, we're getting three reps, you get a 10 second rest, and then you're coming back to the cluster. Um, that is a situation where I think you could do that. And I think that you could do that successfully. Uh, but majority of the time, again, majority of the time, uh, the people, coaches, <laughs> the people, <laughs> coaches um, typically do not um, <clears throat> express that number. So uh, they'll either just like cut it off completely or, um, you know, we just like really don't talk about it. The ones that we are really concerned with primarily are the eccentric and isometric ones. The concentric we do care about to an extent. Um, but <clears throat> typically it's just be as explosive as possible. Why? Because we're building explosive athletes. We're building explosive people, whether that is in the athlete space, in the sports performance space, or with any other client that's a general pop client, it really doesn't matter. Most people typically really are concerned with the eccentric and the isometric component of it. Um, and if it's not utilized, it's typically expressed as an X. So I hope that helps. Again, uh, if you like this, Please do me a favor, like, share, comment, and send this to a friend. And then most importantly, if you would subscribe to my email, um, I think that would be fantastic. And uh, you'll see more videos of these uh, coming every week. So thank you.